Welcome to Content Inspire. I'm your host, Andrew Calvino. And today I have the legend and badass himself, Rocky Trejo, takeover team member. And just wanted to say thank you for getting on Content Inspire and sharing your story, dude. Introduce what up, me. man? Yeah, introduce uh, yourself to the listeners, dude. Cool. Well, first of all, glad to be here, man. Um, you know, thank you for inviting me to be on Content Inspire. Um, my name is Rocky. It's my real name. Um, but you could call me yours if you want, if you're listening to this. <laughs> okay uh, all right uh yeah so my name is rocky i am 26 years old uh i am a competitive bodybuilder i compete in the men's physique category i also do powerlifting on the side as well um i'm an online fitness coach i've helped change over 54 lives yeah right now my roster is like at 60 something um, so I do that. Uh, like what Andrew just stated, I am on the ghost takeover team. I've been on the team for about, it's almost going to be three years. Wow. Um, so yeah, it's like two and some change, uh, met Andrew through the takeover team. One of like my really good friends, um, blessed to have him as my bud, but yeah. Um, I love anime. I love pop punk, emo music, Laney, Drake, you know, all that sad stuff is my bread and butter, but yeah. And I also have purple hair. <laughs> Oh, sweet. All right. So I'm going to link uh, Rocky's Instagram down below. So if you're single, obviously slide into the DMs, but on the real. So I'm going to throw one quick question your way. What's your why, dude? So, um, you know, I think about this question on the daily, man, just because I feel like a lot of people forget their roots when, you know, when they're progressing in life, they really forget to like, I guess, go back to, you know, what you're saying, like their why. Um, so for sure, I remember when I first started like this whole like fitness journey, you know, my why was just to be a better version of myself. Um, and, you know, like the more you progress, the more support you get. And also the more like quote unquote hate you get. But for sure, I just want to take care of my family and my friends, the people that took care of me. That's always been my long-term goal. I just want to be able to, you know, spoil them, you know, take them on a vacation, whoever may be my family or my best friends, just take care of them. And so for sure, that's my why. That's the reason why I wake up. That's the reason why I do what I do. Just try to better myself for them, for sure. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you for sharing that with me and the listeners, dude. And that's an awesome why. So I know you talked a little bit in regards to like how you got into fitness because you just wanted to be a better version of yourself. Is that still like present to this day or has that changed because of powerlifting or bodybuilding or having clients being an online coach? Um, so honestly, man, I feel like it hasn't changed just because, you know, when I first started working out, I was about like 134 pounds. I was six foot. I just didn't really like who I saw in the mirror and it's going to sound really cheesy, man, but literally my number one role model people think like you know it's like Arnold or it's like Chris Bumstead or you know whoever it may be but my role model is Naruto dude like Naruto it was like this quote that you know on uh, the ghost uh, newsletter put out it was like a quote from Naruto just like if you don't like your destiny have the courage to change it uh, and so I remember it was when I first moved to San Antonio the first time um, in 2014 I remember I ended up you know, looking in the mirror and then just deciding I wanted to change for myself. And so, you know, signed up for a gym membership, did what I needed to do. And then just ended up, you know, just doing the, doing the dang thing, man. And yeah, so every day, you know, I just see myself as that 130 pound kid. And, you know, I just really just want to be better every single day for sure. Okay, sweet. And leading into the next question is, Yo, what made you start using ghosts, bro? Like, how did you find ghost supplements and all that fun stuff? So for sure, um, you know, I followed Christian and Max from like the beginning, dude. Like, I remember me and we, me and one of my best friends, Larry, we we're on YouTube and we we're watching one of Christian's vlogs. Like, he just like stumbled upon like, you know, the like the related channels. And I remember he was promoting it. I was like, ghost is coming, ghost is coming, ghost is coming. And I was just like, dude, like this brand is going to take off like for sure. So I remember my sister had gave me like a gift card to GNC and it was around Christmas time and ghost had, it was super brand new, man. And so I was just like, dude, I need to pick up this product. Like, you know, CG and Max, they're part of the team. And it was like when they probably only had like four athletes at the time. Mm -hmm. So I ended up buying, it was cereal milk protein and fruit punch legend, which I hope legend fruit punch comes back 
Dan said it was a possibility. So that is like my favorite, favorite, like flavor legend. So yeah, dude, since like 2016, picked up my first tub of protein, first tub of pro, uh, pre-workout. And then, yeah, I just took off from there. So, you know, been a fan since. I'm still a fan. I'm a big Ghost fanboy over here. But yeah, nice. dude. Sweet. And that's cool that you found Ghost through Christian, Max, YouTube, like the OG athletes and whatnot. Um, let's say you have the opportunity to become an athlete or ambassador one day. And then they say, yo, Rocky, time for an athlete collab. What product and what flavor? Man, so... I'm a big believer in manifestation, man. And, you know, I talk about this, like, with my friends, like, not a whole lot, just because, you know, I'm pretty sure they get tired of me, like, talking about ghosts, but I have, like, the best support system for sure. Um, but I told them I would want to do a white cherry legend flavor. For sure, white cherry, dude. Like, you know, Gatorade white cherry is, like, fire. So, you know, I was, like, thinking about, like, names to, like, give it, like, its own little, like, pizzazz on it. But... Yeah, for sure, a white cherry, dude, would be awesome. So, you know, don't be surprised, man, if I'm just like, you know what, dude? Like, if we're on a call, you know, we're all living it up, and then, you know, a white cherry tub with my horrible signature on there is on it. So, yeah, that would for sure be, like, my go-to collab. A white cherry legend, okay? That's dope. That's sick. That's a great idea, bro, on the real. Um, and so how did you get on the TakeOver team, dude? Like, what's your story on how you got on the, on the team? So um, shout out to Meg, man. Like Meg was like, she was probably one of the first people in TakeOver that I had followed. Um, and so, you know, like I wasn't bombarding her like with messages or anything like that. You know, I was just like, oh, like I remember seeing the TakeOver team on building the brand. And I just reached out to her like, hey, um, introduce myself. Um, I just want to know like what that TakeOver like team thing is. And so she introduced me to TakeOver excuse me. And, um, I reached out to CJ and it was when he had the takeover email. So he wasn't really checking it. So I ended up getting his personal email. We had connected back in October of 2018 or 2017, 2018, sorry, 2018. And then, I don't know, I guess I'll just like emailing like a wrong email. And so finally we reconnected in June. It was when I came home from my sister's graduation. I remember this dude, like it was yesterday. Um, uh, he calls me, we have an interview and then boom, like he's like, dude, like we want you on the team. And I remember like, I wanted to cry, man, just because, you know, I've been a big follower of the brand and, you know, just everything that the brand stands for. It's like, I don't know, like it just aligns really well with my morals, you know, just reveling against the status quo, you know, when, you know, people are telling you, you know, you're supposed to graduate high school, go to college, get a wife, start a family, you know, that's it. But it's like, you know, a lot of people don't really take that route. And, you know, in the quote, rebel against the status quo, that's where I felt like I really aligned with Ghost at the time. And so, yeah, dude, I mean, been a part of the team since then. And it's been nothing but a huge blessing. You know, I met awesome individuals like yourself. Um, and I couldn't give more thanks to like CJ and to Dan and Ryan for really taking a leap of faith and like having me on the team. And it's, it's still like a, a big, like, dream man El Paso has shown nothing but love like to Ghost before I had moved to San Antonio you know no one really knew who Ghost was or what Alpha Elite was or what like any of like the brands like we like are and so when I moved back and I saw some dude wearing a Ghost snapback you know I was just like dude like it's insane like people really like the brand um and you know so now I'm known as like the Ghost guy in El Paso so I'll get like random message requests like hey man um so-and-so let me know about ghost do you think i could try a sample yeah so i'll hook them up and like my clients dude like when i'm telling you andrew like i have like the greatest support system man like i feel like i'm like the most like luckiest guy man like my clients will go out of their way like you know to make sure they buy ghosts to like support me and you know i don't ask i don't ask these guys to man like they do it and it's for sure like the gnarliest feeling man for sure for sure wow dude um shit i just got chills on the reel and um fuck i'm happy to hear that for you dude um Thank you, man. wow all right let me let me get my shit together real quick <laughs> we'll, we'll both cry we'll both cry <laughs> oh man but no on the real um cj you hear this shout out to you bro on the real boy you, man you boy both. yeah good shit so let's let's talk about bodybuilding like, how many shows have you done, dude? Oh, man. Um, 
That's a good question, dude. So I've been competing since 2016, I think. So my first show was like a train wreck. You know, I just decided, you know, I'm gonna jump into the show like six weeks out. I'll just like, you know what, I'll eat whatever I want, do cardio. Just, it was horrible, man. Um, ended up finding out about like macros. So fun fact, Christian Guzman was like my first like coach I ever hired, dude. Like I had no idea. Yeah, dude, it was so, it was crazy. I remember I got my income tax and he was like taking on clients and I was like, you know what? I feel like this is an investment. So yeah, he coached me like for 12 weeks. And then, you know, I decided to do another show because I had like a structure. Finally, I was doing like push, pull legs, counting my macros, you know, seeing what worked for me, what didn't work for me. Um, ended up doing my other show in 2017 and then been competing since. Uh, did the first summer shredding in 2018. Uh, and then I competed with Christian and Shawley at Battle on the Bay in 2019. Got whooped. Like, dude, that lineup was insane. Like, that I didn't know. Nasty, dude. Dude, I didn't even know they were doing that show, man. Like, I remember I got to, like, the arena, and I saw Max, and I was just, and I was just like, what is he doing here? And then I see Shawley roll up, and Christian, I'm like, okay, for sure I'm going to be in Shawley's class because, you know, we're tall. And then, dude, that class was so stacked. There was probably, like, 13 of us. And, you know, the fact that I was able to get, like, first call-outs with them, I was just like, yo, like, it's insane. But, like, Shawley, dude, Shawley's just an animal, dude. Like, Shawley's a beast. Shaw yeah. is a fucking monster, dude. And when I met him in Miami, yeah, he he has some serious size on him. That's insane. honestly, bro. But one of the nicest dudes, dude. Like him and Christian, like for sure, like genuine dudes. You know, Max, a genuine dude. Like it was awesome. Like that feeling of you know seeing these people on YouTube for years and then finally meeting them. Like for sure, like what you see on video is what you see in person. And so that was sick. Um, but yeah, so I've been competing since then. I did my most recent show this past July in Arlington. It was the Southwest Championships. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was the first time I did a men's physique show in the past two years because of COVID and stuff. I had a client do that show as well. Um, I placed fifth out of like a stupid stacked class. Um, so, you know, not everyone wants fifth, but I took it, man. It's just like, it's always a learning experience, not to sound all cheesy. But it's always a learning experience, man. So probably next year, me and my coach are coming up with a game plan right now. Um, right. Taking like a really good off season, you know, putting on some decent size, not trying to get fat. Um, and yeah, so yeah, that's that's where I'm at with the whole bodybuilding stuff, man. Okay, sweet. And I know that you said that you've done some uh, powerlifting as well. So are you going to throw that into the mix or are you just focused 100% on bodybuilding right now? That is a really good question, man. Um, so right now, I don't think like my numbers are that good especially being at a lower weight right now i'm like cruising between like 179 and 181 when last year like my peak of bodybuilding when i was like crushing it crushing it i was like at 220 dude so it's like a really big gap but yeah dude i was like stupid yeah. like quarantine got the best of me eating water burger and dominoes once a week wasn't the move but okay so we got we gotta have a serious talk because i've had water burger once i hated it Horrible. Oh, horrible. Man. I, hated it. I hated it and literally like I ate it and I was on the road traveling I thought my stomach was gonna explode bro I thought I was gonna have like a code red like no really bad and so I know you I know you rock and preach Whataburger but ever since I had that I'm like nope dude don't worry next time we link up and we're in Texas I'll make sure to like get you something from Whataburger that you're literally like gonna fall in love with for sure for sure all right i'll put my faith in you so what does your training style in the gym look like dude so right now my coach has me doing like i guess like a bro split so we're training each muscle group like individually so it's oh, yeah. like chest shoulders back legs arms or it would be like a chest with the back touch up it just depends man so my coach he deals more with the nutrition and you know the cardio regimen and then we have like our strength and conditioning coach and he's the one that says sets up like the training programs and it's like insane dude it's like negatives pauses drop sets like dude just the other week I had to do 150 reps like on the leg press and I was literally like Bambi and it's it's crazy man like and you know learning from a coach as well you know being a coach it's always good to like learn from like a coach that's like it's done it all you know stuff like that so shout out to terry placker man team fidelis like he's taught me so much man and he's literally a really good mentor 
So that's where my training is right now, man. And then incorporating cardio here and there, um, like 20 minutes per session after a workout. Nothing too crazy. Okay. And then another quick question your way is, if you could be signed to an apparel brand, what brand would you want to be signed with? Oh, man, dude. Woo! Uh, I don't know, dude. I mean, I followed Alphaly since the beginning. I still have a stringer that I've had since 2015, dude. And it's like, yeah. it's kept intact for like ever. Uh, and Alphaly's morals are like really good too. But I've also been like really liking Gymshark stuff also. Okay. So I don't know, dude. That's, that's a really good question. It'll probably be between the two. Um, but you know, if like one of my homies ever like decides to like start like a clothing brand, like an athleisure brand, you know, I would love to support them. So I would probably go that route just because, you know, I feel like I owe my friends and my family so much. I would love to be a part of like their growth and stuff like that. Okay, sweet. So Alpha Elite or Gymshark, or if your homies ever wanted to start their own brand, that's uh, athletic, all that good fun stuff, you'd support them. So that's pretty dope, dude, on the real. Thanks, man. And then, um, so you're big into like hardcore music, emo music, yes. all that. Favorite, favorite band? Oh, man, dude. Uh, so a favorite band. So pop punk wise, I mean, going to emo night almost every Wednesday here in El Paso, dude. It's oh, like, so jealous. It, it, it's sick, dude. Like, I mean, every time I hear Taking Back Sunday, that's like, boom. Like, that's it. Like, that's like, my chiz right there so you know talking to dan and ryan that's one thing that we all had in common was you know like pop punk and you know just taking back sunday for sure like my favorite pop punk band uh hardcore i have like a lot man but there's some local legends here called barbarian and they just dropped like their newest like record and it's like mind-blowing dude like the reason why i'm trying to incorporate more cardio andrew they're having their record release show on the first and i need to be in tip-top shape to like mosh a bit and not die outside of the pit so i i have a lot of favorite bands man but like you know laney the 1975 like i have a heck ton dude but like hardcore wise and pop punk wise probably that dude and it's i guess it just depends on how i feel that day for sure okay and then what's the best show you've ever been to Woo! dang so I used to play in a hardcore band, you know, this, like I used to like be a front man in the, like a melodic hardcore band back in the day. Um, and we played like with a lot of like our favorite bands, you like the ghost inside for the fallen dreams, et cetera. So our record release show we had, it was like, a, I threw a free show, man, at a church. It was legit at a church and um, it was a free show. Everyone and their mom showed up and people were stage diving. People were just moshing back and forth, left and right. And it was just literally just overall friendship, man. So that's one thing I will always take like to my grave. Like one thing that will always have a special place in my heart was seeing hardcore unite and, you know, just have fun, dude. And so that would probably be my favorite show. But if we're talking like big wise, the 1975 when they played here in El Paso, pre-sales went live. I had to get them for myself because no one wanted to go with me. And I was literally like the tallest dude, like on the floor seats. And there's like all like these like teenage, like dudes and girls. And so, dude, I cried, man, just because they're like my favorite band. And, you know, it was just so funny, like just being like the tallest dude there. And it's just like, I love this band. I'm like fangirling over this band. And yeah, that was sick. Okay. And then um, what's your favorite type of content to create, dude? Ooh. Huh. Only friends? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the G-rated version of OnlyFans. That's um, oh, that's funny. Cornhub? No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Okay, okay. For us, for us. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm sorry to get back on the YouTube grind, mm -hmm. but I really just enjoy like swipe workouts. Like those are always like my favorite, just because they're so fun to make. Like it's you're just training, and I literally ask one of my friends to like start recording for me. Um, and yeah, like for sure that, or getting like really like creative with like pictures when we have to do like promos for Ghost. Like I just got my Bubblicious Gamer in. So I'm trying to think, I'm looking at it right now and I'm trying to think like, what can I do with it? I really wish I colored my hair pink instead of purple because it would have looked so sick. But I mean, I'll come up with something. So, excuse me, um, probably pictures for Ghost because they're always the funnest, dude. Always the funnest. 
Okay, for sure. Dope, dude. And then what's your favorite show to watch on Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus? Dude, you already know. You know this answer. But for the people that don't know, so me and Andrew became really freaking close, man, because we're both like big anime nerds. You know, we love Naruto. We love yeah. Pokemon. Like, so Naruto, dude, I could watch battles or fights over and over again. Just yesterday, I had a dream that I was getting attacked and I did a mud wall jutsu. It was so crazy. But like, for sure, Naruto. But I know you're hyped for this one, dude. They just announced October 15th. The new season of You is coming out. Yes. Yes. All so, right. You know, I got my mom watching it. She's almost done with season two. And she's like telling me, you better not be like that guy. And I'm like, I'm not. I'm worse, mom. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. I'm worse, mom. <laughs> oh, so. All right. Spoiler warning for anyone that hasn't seen you. Come back once we're done talking about this. All that. So. At the end of season two, you remember when he was looking through the fence Dude. and it was another lady and all that shit? There's some rumors that that could be like his mom. Ooh. Or it could just be another woman that he becomes obsessed with while his uh, girlfriend, fiance, wife, baby mama, who is, who is as crazy as he fucking is, or even worse, honestly. Dude um so he's in dangerous territory i don't know what the what the hell they're gonna do in season three but that's dangerous territory if he's gonna go for the woman next door because that's just insane that's like the perfect like plot dude it's like the girl next door or like stacy's mom's got it going on just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but yeah dude um and rocky straight up just wanted to say thanks for being on content inspire dude thanks dude for sharing the story because you know when, somebody, when I know somebody hears this when my listeners hear this they're gonna go after it so thank you man on the reel for sharing who you are and is there anything you'd like to say to the listeners before we hop off no man I mean if you guys aren't subscribed to like Andrew's podcast on YouTube on Spotify wherever you're listening to this subscribe now follow him dude like I've told him like the content he puts out it's so good like the photos the videos like they're so good man and I'm sure, you know, brands like Alpha Lead and Naka, they're, they're, they're looking at it, dude. So, you know, just keep killing it, man. And, you know, I just feel like if you're hearing this, regardless if you take away, you know, a laugh, you know, a cry, whatever it may be, go after whatever you're going after. Like your, your dreams are so big. You can literally accomplish anything you put your mind to anything, anything, anything. But, you know, thank you for having me on Andrew, dude. You know, just keep doing what you're doing, man. And this is, I'm telling you, this podcast is going to take off even further than it already has. So cheers, man. Thank you, dude. And listeners, till next time.